But and I attribute a lot of what my skills were to doing that kind of man to the Marine Corps. Seriously? Yeah. How does that? Well, I mean, I guess if you have more responsibility, if you're responsible for people's lives, your own, you, you see you, that kind of crazy shit. I mean, the you put all this stuff like I had discussed about with the gunny being in charge and listening, going all the way back to watching friends and things hurt, to seeing crazy things happen with a with a special weapon to being in other countries, watching all the mayhem happening and being miscommunicating and loss of communication. You tend to understand you will use that communication deficit to correct yourself. Makes and sense. then use that to help others to learn to communicate better. So it's essentially a wake-up call. It's a way, yeah, Marine Corps was really a, a wake-up call. But what I meant is the communication deficit is a wake-up call. The Marine Corps advised oh, you that yeah. that was the truth. Yeah, correct. They advised you, taught you. Oh, yeah, or you learned it on your own. Yeah. They, they don't, Marine Corps really doesn't teach too much. They have a set principle of, uh, of and any, anybody who was in there knew any time they took a class in the Marine Corps, by the end of this period of instruction, you will be able to. So this was repeated on and on and on so much that it became part of you. Same thing with when you would teach the uh, weapons classes as a primary marksmanship instructor. And you would go in and do this, you know, already on the right, already on the left, already on the firing line. Shooters, when you see your targets, you make immense firing. Ready? <laughs> targets! Oh my gosh, it, on and on and on how it dwelled on. And it, and, it, and it helped. It helped in teaching. It helped in understanding. It helped in uh, being a better manager as you go forward. That's really cool.